John here, 1984 Barbecue. Today, we're going to be doing some beef riblets. We're going to be testing out two test ribs that were sent to me by Heaven Made Products. We're going to do these on the ugly drum smoker. Here we go. We got our beef chuck riblets here. All right, that's what we're doing today. This rack over here looks like it's got a lot of it's had a lot of fat on it, but they look pretty meaty, guys, really. I got the uh, membranes taken off these already. You can leave them on if you want to. But uh, anyways, what we're going to be doing, guys, is I've got two. I got a beef rub, test number one, from uh, Michael Peach. You have made products sent these to me. And I got a brisket rub, too, I haven't tried just yet. And a beef rub number test, uh, test number two. As you can tell, they have not been opened yet, guys. I haven't tasted them. I have no idea what they taste like. So we're going to put a little binder on these. We're going to put a little uh, Lee and Perrins on here, a little Worcestershire sauce on here as a little binder. And I'm not going to bore you guys with all the seasoning. He's uh, ready. I already did the backs. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to give this a little bit of our Lee and Perrins there. Kind of rub this down as a binder on these. All right. Now what we're going to do is this rack here we're going to use for uh, beef test number one. All right, here we go. that in there guys hopefully y'all can see that let me get it in there a little closer but it's got a nice little coarseness to it it's not too overly coarse but it's got a nice coarseness on it all right remember this is number one okay forgive my phone guys all right now we're going to go with number two test room number two again these are both beef products it's from heavy made products beef rubs from heavy made products that were sent to me by michael petrie i want to thank him for sending these out to me, I was really shocked. I had ordered a whole new thing of, uh, it's incredible, and he sent them out to me. So I'm very, very humbled and uh, excited to be asked to test these out. So anyways, guys, I got both these rubbed down. All right, so this is test number one, and this is test number two of his beef rub. Okay, we're going to let these sit on the counter for a few minutes. I got the drum uh, up to temp. I need to drop the smoke wood on it, and I will meet you out there at the drum. Pits ran at about 275 or so. I'm going to go ahead and open this bad boy up. There we go. Got our pit running. I've got uh, post oak on here. i got one big piece of post oak. So let me get our ribs on here. That is for number one, test rub one. And this is for test rub number two. All right. I'm not running a water pan or anything in here, guys. We're going to let these go. Um, we're going to let them go for about an hour, and then we'll come out here and check on them, see if they're dry and need any spritz, okay? I'll bring you back then. All righty, y'all. We're going to take a look at these. I haven't opened this up at all since I last left you, so let's just take a look. Let me get my arm away, guys. Sorry. There we go. All righty. Get you in there a little bit there. Looking pretty good. Let's get the bark set. Bark looks to be set, guys. May need a little bit more time, but I'm, it looks a little dry. So I'm going to give it just a little spritz of water. That's just plain water, guys. It's plain water. All right. Looking pretty good, guys. We got a little bit of drawback right here on the bones. Um, I'm going to let these go for maybe another hour before I uh, temp them and see where we're at. Maybe 30 minutes. I don't know. But I'll let you know. And uh, these have been on for an hour, guys. It's at uh, 340 now, p.m., and uh, they're looking pretty good, so I'm going to put this down, and uh, I'll bring you back here shortly. So uh, we're going to go ahead and check these out here. Just going to get those in there so you can see. There we go. They got some nice color on getting some pullback here, guys. Let's check the, uh, let's see where we're at here. I'm checking more for tenderness than I am anything. About 201, 202, 203, 
207. These are going in like butter, guys, right here. This side over here, though, is still a little tough. I'm going to just kind of poke it one more time there. 192, 193. Juicy, though. 187. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'm going to leave these on here for just a few more minutes. Not too much longer, guys. And when we come back, I'll have these pulled off and resting. And we'll uh, we'll test them out. We'll see you then. Here's our beautiful looking uh, beef chuck riblets. Okay. And as you see, this is the uh, one that has the one... Um, one toothpick in there all right so there's that one and this is going to be the uh beef rub test number one this is the seasoning we use from heavenly products we're gonna cut into this guys this thing is super juicy i know it's not my best knife but there we go let's get a shot of that for you guys there Beautiful smoke ring on that. Nice and juicy. Yep, nice and juicy. All right, we'll get the other one cut up, and uh, we'll bring it right back here. Here's the uh, beef uh, rub test number two right here. This had the two toothpicks in it, which I'm just going to leave those alone. But uh, we're just going to cut the middle right here, guys. These are kind of at an angle, so I'm having a harder time cutting. Like I said, this isn't my best knife. There we go. You take a look at that there, guys. That's the number two rub. Nice smoke ring. Nice bark. Nice and juicy. All right, guys, we're going to give these a taste test. We'll be right back for that. All right, guys, taste test time. Let's do a quick review here. We started out with beef, chocolate, uh, beef chuck riblets I got from my uh, Walmart store. Um, we used uh, beef rub test number one, beef rub test number two on uh, two racks of them we had. We ran on the UDS. I ran it at about 275, 250, guys. I uh, used one chunk of uh, oak, post oak. And uh, you've seen the results. Now let's do a taste test. Now the first one we're going to do is the one that's uh, taste the uh, test number one of the beef rub all right so it smells really good guys let's take a little quick look at that all right cheers Okay. So, definitely get that beefy flavor from that, guys. Good flavor. Pepper, a little bit of salt, not much. Um, but it has, a, it has an overall general, just good beef rub flavor. I'm not really sure what all is in that. Pepper and some salt. Maybe a little cayenne. But just a general beefy flavor, guys, okay? I know it's kind of a bland description of it, but definitely got pepper in it. A little bit of cayenne, maybe. And a little bit of salt. Um, just by looking at it, that's some of the big coarse ingredients I see. All right, so now we're going to try the uh, beef rub number two. The test number two on the beef rub. So, there you go. Cheers. That one's good. Very good. I'll be back back with my final thoughts. The second one, guys, definitely got um, some pepper, some cayenne in it. It's a little spicier tasting. Um, like I said, I'm not real sure what's all in here, guys. It's 
man, it's got definitely some some herbs and spices in this this number two. Um, definitely tastes a little bit more flavor with number two than I did number one. Number one uh, definitely had a beefy flavor to it, but that number two, man, it, it, it got a lot of that, that good flavor in it, guys. Good flavor. Um, these little chuck ribs turned out really good, guys. I'm really surprised. Um, I'm going to play around with these rubs a little bit more on uh, some other meats and stuff like that. Maybe just do a single comparison. But um, right now, as it stands, like I, I like test rub number two. Okay. Number one, just it seemed like it just didn't have a whole lot of flavor. It had that peppery flavor, though. But again, these are test rubs, and that's why they send them out for us to test them. Okay. So I'm going to try number one again on something else, see what happens. But I definitely, you know, got a lot of flavor off number two. Guys, if you like this video we did today, give me a big thumbs up. Hit that sub uh, subscribe button if you haven't. Hit that bell notification. Let you know when I release new videos. Um, anyways, guys, I really appreciate it. Uh, hang in there. We'll see you on the next one.